Okay, so imagine you're trying to pull off a bank heist. You've gathered a crew, you're going over the plan, but there's only one detail left. What car do you use as your getaway vehicle? Choose wisely because it could spell a very bad ending. Because this is exactly what happened to a man in September of 2020. He robbed three banks in the DC area and drove off in a Tesla. While the FBI was investigating, they were able to find the license plate of the Tesla, which had been registered to a car rental subscription company. Not only were they able to get the man's contact information through the subscription rental service, they also got the car's GPS data. The GPS data showed that the man had visited the three banks on the day of the robberies and he was sentenced to four years in prison. So this begs the question, who owns your car's data. Teslas can track your entire journey including GPS coordinates and pictures and videos of your journey. Although the data is stripped of identifying information, if you had made several trips between your home, school, and your office, it would be feasible to link that data back to the original person. Tesla does say that it does not sell its car's data, but it also says that they do provide the data to service providers, business partners, affiliates, and government entities. Using all this data isn't necessarily bad per se because Tesla does use it so that it can improve its auto driving system. And if you were able to see the aggregate data, you would be able to see patterns like traffic jams or dangerous intersections. If you wanted to opt out of Tesla's data collecting, the only sure way to do it would be to remove the car's modem. But if you did that, you would also lose access to remote services, the internet radio, voice commands, the web browser, and most importantly, software updates. I don't know, I think Tesla's are really cool. Does the cool factor outweigh some of the privacy concerns? Anyways, yeah, let me know down in the comment what you think about Teslas and who should have access to that data. Okay, that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.